Welcome back to another Python tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add custom sprites into your Space Invader game. So the website I use for this is this one right at the top here. There's other pixel art websites and you're free to explore them and try them out. To use this one, the first thing you're going to do is press create sprite up in the top right hand corner. It's going to bring you to a page like this where you can draw your sprites. What we need to do though is set the dimensions for each object that we're going to draw. So let's go ahead and start by drawing our own custom ship. What we're going to do to start with is come over here to the preferences. Next we're going to select the resize option. We're going to select a width of 50 and a height of 25. And these values come from the code itself. So if you look under each class we define its dimensions. So for example for the ship class the dimensions of it are 50 by 25. The enemy is 25 by 25 and so on. So when you're creating your custom sprites, you can use those same dimensions. If maintain aspect ratio is selected, make sure you unselect it. And then once you do that, you can press resize. And then it will resize the screen and you can draw your sprite now. On the left hand side, so there's some different options as far as how you draw your sprite. You can choose the pin size up at the top here. You also have the option of different colors. And then what you can do is you can draw your sprites on the screen. Okay, and once you finish designing your object, what you want to do next is export it as a PNG file. To do that, you're going to come over here to export. And then under the PNG section, you want to go all the way to the bottom and press download. And what this is going to do, it's going to download your sprite as a PNG file. What you need to do next is locate it in your downloads folder. And then since this one is the ship, go ahead and rename this one to ship. Once you're done with the ship, you can go ahead and press create sprite to work on the next sprite. And for the next one, I would recommend doing the enemy. And if you look back at the code, the enemy is 25 by 25. So under preferences here, you're going to go to resize and then change this to 25 by 25. Once you finish up with drawing all of your sprites, what you need to do next is add them to the same directory as your Python file. One method for finding the directory of your Python file, you can press the load button inside of your program. And then you want to copy the directory up top. And you can open this in a new file explorer. And what you can do next is you can go to your downloads, copy the images, and then paste them inside your directory. After you move all the images to the directory, you have to update your code. And let me go ahead and pull up the code I wrote before, and I can show you the changes you have to make. Okay, so looking at some of the classes, the way you're going to load that image is you're going to add this line right here. So before we said self.image is equal to pygame.surface. Instead, we're going to say self.image is equal to pygame.image.load. And this is the name of your image. So whatever you name your ship, make sure you update that right here. We also removed the line that said self.image.fill. And it's the same for the other classes. You're going to update the self.image with the name of the PNG file. If you want to add a background image, you can do that as well. And this is how you would do it. And down in the redraw function, you're going to update the first line right here. Before we had win.fill and then the color black. So now you're going to say win.blt. This is the variable that you stored the image under. And you're going to set it to start at the position 0, 0. And that's all the changes that you have to make. So just a quick recap, what you have to do is you have to use a pixel art software. You can either use the one I showed you here or another one online. You're going to create your sprite and download it as a PNG file. Then you have to move those files into your Python directory. And finally, you're going to update your classes by updating the self.image part with the image that you created and then deleting the part that says self.image.fill. If you want to do a background, make sure you store it in a variable up top. And then down in the redraw function, you need to update the win.fill function to win.blt. Insert your picture and then tell it to start at 0, 0. Let me go ahead and run this program so I can show you what it looks like with custom sprites. So this is what it could look like with some custom sprites loaded into your game. Feel free to have fun with this and make it your own. This is going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one. <laughs>